If you're running into issues on your iPhone, an easy way to get them fixed is to go into your settings and reset those settings. It's a common thing that I would recommend people doing, but you might find that you're not necessarily sure what does what when you go to the reset settings. I'll walk you through all of those and what they do. So let's open up the settings app on your iPhone. And to get to the options for resetting it, you'll be able to see at the very bottom is the general option. Tap on general. And now let's scroll down to the very bottom of your phone and you'll see transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on transfer or reset and now you'll be able to see the option for resetting. So just tap on reset. I'm going to walk you through what all of these do. I'm actually going to start at the very bottom because I want to top on the reset all settings the last because that's the most inclusive. Now, at the very bottom, reset location and privacy. This will essentially reset whether you share your location with your iPhone. You can have significant locations within the settings where it tracks your settings or your location rather and basically enters those in of places you commonly go and don't go. And it'll also change and reset all of the settings associated with permissions that you've given your iPhone to various apps to track your location wherever you are. So if you want to reset that, you can tap on it. The second one uh, from the bottom here is reset home screen layout. And what this does is it essentially brings your home screen back to the factory default of what you would see when you first started up your iPhone. So everybody moves their apps around depending on their preference. If you wanted to go back to how it looks when you first pull, basically pull your iPhone out of the box, it'll reset that. Now, reset high handwriting style. Most people don't use this, but if you have set a handwriting style, you can just reset that and retrain it. That's pretty simple. Reset dictionary. You can see the keyboard dictionary. Essentially, if you have certain names or certain words that you've added to the dictionary, say your last name always gets jumbled up and you wanted to basically learn it or tell the keyboard to learn it, you can always set those keyboards to learn them, or you can have certain abbreviations, change to other words. You can set all those things in the dictionary, and this basically just resets all of those. Now, delete all eSIMs. The eSIM is your electronic SIM card that you have on your iPhone that essentially allows you to connect, let me tap on that again, connect from your iPhone to sell data. So keep in mind, if you hit delete all eSIMs, you'll have to re-add that eSIM with your cell carrier, essentially going to them and asking for a QR code to re-add that eSIM. I would not recommend that unless you really want to do that because you'll have to go to your carrier, basically go on the phone and say, hey, I need a new eSIM. Reset network settings. This is a common one people use, the second from the top. Essentially, this resets all of the settings associated with your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your cellular connection, and your VPN. Now, if you're having trouble with a Bluetooth connection between your phone and another device, or maybe you're having issues with your Wi-Fi, you can reset all those. However, keep in mind, it will not remember your previous Wi-Fi networks, so you'll have to add them again or just connect to your Wi-Fi network works again. You have to add to Bluetooth devices again. You have to go through and pair them again. And now at the very top is reset all of your settings. Now, this is all inclusive. It doesn't delete any of your data. All of your data, all of your apps are still on your iPhone, but essentially everything in the settings app is brought back to the factory default as if you just bought that iPhone. Now, keep in mind, if you do hit reset all settings and enter in your passcode here, it will say that it resets all settings, but it also resets and clears out your Apple Pay cards, your keys and passes, and no data or media will be deleted. So keep in mind, if you do go through this option, this is the biggest option and will cause the most amount of disruption. All of your settings associated with your phone are brought back to the factory default. But if you're having big issues with your iPhone, sometimes this is the last resort before just completely wiping your phone and starting all over. You might wanna try resetting all of those settings. Again, keep in mind, you'll have to go through the process of setting up certain things again, like connecting to your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, or maybe you need to add an Apple card back again, et cetera.